is a Q hair at Q Aquatics. And today I'm going to try to fix this. Let me tell you what I think happened. So my daughter called me at work and said the fish tank was making some funny noises. And the way she described it sounded like the pump, so I figured I was low on water. I walked her through with the water conditioner and she put water in the tank. And she sent me a picture of what it looked like. So when I got home, the tank looked like this. A lot of the dust settled. And I think what it really was was the sediment from the bottom. When I was doing water changes, I was doing water, turning the pump off and doing water changes up here. I never vacuumed down here. This sump down here had a lot of sediment on the bottom. So I guess when the tank got low on water, the pump was pulling up, dredging up the stuff from the bottom and shooting it into the tank. So what I'm going to try to do is clean out the bottom, do maybe a 10-20% water change, and moving forward know that this has to be cleaned out first. And then move forward. What a mess. Let's see if I can get this cleaned up. Okay, well, what I'm going to start with first is I'm going to, there's a lot of bio balls that spilled over, so I'm going to move all the bio balls over and then start cleaning up. And this is just removing the bio balls. I can't even imagine if the water got down so low that it sucked up all that stuff. That's why the tank looked like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the pumps off, gravel back down here. Gravel back and water change up here, try to clean up some of the plants, see if I can uh, fix this mistake. And I'll turn it on um, time lapse so you don't have to watch. filthy that sump was. So I cleaned it out, gravel vacuumed it, filled it back up using safe, had to drain it again because it was still black. Filled it up. Ay ay ay. So now I'm doing a water change. So while I was doing this I needed the kitchen faucet on. I had to constantly keep checking to make sure the sink didn't overflow because it has a tendency to do that. So now the pressure from the water will just drain it while I'll finish cleaning. I did the glass. I don't really gravel back because it's not gravel, it's dirt. It's already starting to look a lot better just from settling down, but I know it's settled down. I'm going to try to hover over all the substrate, over all the rocks, kind of like vacuum the plants because it's got, you now everything's got this dirt on it. And I'm going to do the glass one more time. And I'm going to take a look at here because it almost looks like, oh, filthy. And now I'm pretty sure I know why I never did it. Because it's so painful to do. To get my hands in those positions down there is, but now I know I have to do it. So I'm going to put it, speed up the film again. I'm going to gravel back this side one more time. I'm going to probably come down to about here. channel welcome if you came here to get some expert fish keeping advice this is not the channel what I'm doing is I am documenting my experiences as a brand new fish keeper um, I'm absolutely in love with the hobby I love the depth that I got to so far and I know there's so much more to go so much more to learn so much more I want to do as far as um, conservation I want to be a part of the CARES breeding program there's so many things I want to do, but this is not where you're going to get expert fish keeping advice. This is where I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm learning from suggestions you guys give me in the fish fam. I just started in the hobby about a year and a half ago, 
Okay, so while this is draining, let me tell you a little story. And at Christmas time, this was my first big tank. So I thought, I want to start documenting because it was going to be a huge process just getting it set up. And if you want to see that playlist, go ahead and click up here. That was the playlist for my Christmas 125 gallon Christmas tank. And I keep calling it either 120 gallon, 125 gallon. And I got it from the fish tank guy. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you, fish tank guy. So when I started in the fish keeping hobby about a year and a half ago, I relied on YouTube to really get some information. And I got a lot of negative feedback. I got a lot of, uh, you shouldn't be getting fish. You shouldn't be getting fish if you don't know what you're doing. Do your research first which I thought it was, and then I met up with the fish fam. It's a group of people, hashtag fish fam, that actually care and share with each other knowledge and experience and not in a hurtful, hateful way. It's just been an amazing roller coaster ride, let me tell you. And when I started setting up this tank, I started documenting my hobby on YouTube. I had put up like a 30 second clip on my pea puffers before I got this tank, and here and there, but that's really when I started to, I wanted to, I wanted to show people what it was like. I have such a passion for it. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you came here for expert fish keeping advice, this isn't it. But if you want to see what it's like as a new hobbyist, the issues that I run into, how I take care of them, or how I set up different things, I'm so thrilled that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'm going to finish. I just did the water change. I, I cleaned, gravel backed the sump three times already, and now it's time to fill it up. Hopefully the fish will forgive me. Let me go back into um, time lapse mode, and I'll finish filling up the tank and see how it looks. Thanks for listening to my story. pump back on because I can hear it flipping into the over the temperature is spot on it's at 79 hopefully I fix the issue and this will settle down and clear up okay I'm about to turn it on so now let's just hope everything works out well here all this settles down moving forward every time I do a water change I start with the sump and get all, all that sediment I'm still filling up, but I think I'm going to stop. Much better. This is the next morning. So there's going to be glare because the sun is coming up. But so much better. I can see through to the back. <laughs> the clown loaches are out. Let's check to see how it looks underneath. Oh, so much better. I don't know if you can see. There's no light, but let's see if I can get a light. I still can't get over it. I love these guys. I love this fish tank. I love all my fish. Like, I just didn't know what I didn't know. And now I know. <laughs> Lesson learned. Thanks for checking out my video, guys.